Today I'm going to show you what we're doing, this little project. We were walking over in an area where ATVs and trucks and stuff drive and I seen a big strand of toad eggs in a tire print and you probably can't see them down there. So we took them home. We're having a typical Newfoundland summer, cold and wet. Last year we were lucky enough to have a uh, nice warm summer so I'm going to build a little toad pond and hopefully we'll be able to hatch some toads to eat the slugs that are eating my greens. So, oh, we have a visitor here this morning. Good morning. We have a little visitor here joining us. So what I did was I picked up one of these under the bed boxes, it's 50 liters, uh, to use as a little pond liner. And I picked a location, actually it's out front, yeah, out that way. <laughs> As I was doing a little bit of reading, and it said that they like a little bit of a shaded area. There's the rabbit. And they like rocks, and they need overhang, and all kinds of things. So I hope I'm doing it right, but, but this is the area that has lots of rocks and greenery and there's like a little indented spot right here and the box fits there perfectly so I just have to dig a hole um, it's only about six inches deep I'm going to pull back all the moss because I'm going to re replace the moss back over the top and insert it and put some plants around it and then uh, let it fill up with rainwater and um, put my toad eggs in there and hopefully they will hatch and take care of my slug problem because everything here is getting eaten by slugs. My lettuce is, look, this is terrible compared to last year. So, and yes, I've tried every slug remedy. Uh, trust me, these are these little tiny baby ones like this little one here and they can just eat right through the stems of the squash and we literally have hundreds so there's a bigger one in there and the year before last we were out here picking in the garden probably a hundred of these things per night so and we weren't even keeping near on top of it i gotta go get that guy over there if i see them i can't leave them on the plants Look, there's another one. Yes, yeah, I'm touching slugs. Oh, two came off. I just only thought there was one. So this should be good food for toads. I'm hoping. It's those little hungry ones. Look, they're everywhere. So yeah, so that's the little project I'm going to do is... Um, build a little toad pond and put the eggs in and let's hope that I can have some natural slug control around here. Okay, so first of all, I'm just checking to see where it's going to fit, and uh, that's about where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to start pulling back the moss here now, because I want to keep that moss to plant back around it. So I'm just going to literally, with my hands, just pull off the moss and, and lay it to the sides, and then I'll start digging the hole. Okay, so I got the moss pulled back. That took less than a minute. And now we're going to get a shovel and a pick and dig a hole about probably five inches deep. Okay, I could call in the big guns because uh, it's all full of roots and sort of compacted there. So uh, he's just uh, grubbing up that uh, big heavy mat of moss 
roots and stuff. So we're digging a little grave. <laughs> Okay, we got the liner in place here now, and I'm just going to fill in around it with the um, moss and soil that we took out and some of the rocks. Okay, so I have the liner in place, and I'm just now uh, placing some rocks and moss around the perimeter to make it look like it's been here for a long time. So this is my almost finished project, and I got moss and ferns and rocks and some stumps. I'm going to put a, I got a little ladder here with rocks and I'm put another little ladder in the other corner and get some uh, aquatic plants from the pond over there and put those in as well and yeah so I think it looks kind of cute. I was hoping the clear would look more clear. It is noticeable but once some um, algae gets in it uh, you probably won't notice it at all. So here it is my finished toad pond tucked discreetly away in here and I put lots of moss and some ferns and an overturned pot in here it's still the water's still a little murky because we just took it up from the pond and uh, some pond plants and there's an overturned pot that they can get under. So this was an easy project. It just took, like, the rocks came out from under. Moss I just took up from the woods around here uh, on my own property. And I found this nice little moss co covered log as well. And there's ladders in there. And yeah, so that's our little toad pond. It took no time at all just uh, it's a good afternoon project and pretty much anyone can put one anywhere so I'll show you what it looks like from back here you don't even know it's in there and it's tucked away so I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching